What's going on guys? That's right, today, as you, <laughs> as you can see, we are taking a look at an awesome little RC plane today. This is the WL Toys Cartoon Scale Q version fighter. It's a four channel, 2.4 gigahertz radio controlled aeroplane. As you can see on the box here, it does have 3D 6G switchable mode, which is basically gyro on or gyro off, depending on your preference of flying. And guys, if we take a look right here, you can see that the flight board has two additional ports. One is for a 5 volt Futaba receiver, so you can run your favorite Futaba controller on this. Or the other one is the 3.3 volt for the DSM or Spectrum uh, satellite receivers, which is really awesome for me because I do actually run Spectrum or DSM radios on most of my remote control airplanes. So I think I'll be swapping this out at some stage if the radio fails or I have some sort of issue with the stock radio. So we'll get this all set up on the bench, take a look at what we get in the box and then take it outside for a good test because I'm really keen to see how these little things fly. But just before we get started guys, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button for this video. If you enjoy the video, definitely subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see my up and coming videos. It definitely all helps towards the channel and towards the algorithms. So cheers guys. As with most RCs, you will get an instruction guide with most of the necessary information. It comes with a four channel controller. Over this side, you have your throttle and ailerons. This side, you have your elevator and rudder, on and off switch, all your trim tabs. The two buttons on top, I think, are gyro and speed switch. And it takes four double A's not included in the box. In the little bag here, we get a couple of props. We get all the hardware and a screwdriver. And as you can see, we've got some landing gear in there as well. And I almost forgot to mention a couple of the most important parts, the battery and charger. You will receive a 3.7 volt, 400 milliamp lithium battery and the corresponding charger, 3.7 volt, 600 milliamps. Now to the plane itself, it does look really, really good. Very well finished, nice paint job. And I know that the EPP foam is quite flexible and very strong. As you can see inside, we have a single servo for the ailerons. Here is the three-in-one board with the servo on top for the elevator. But as you can see, I have already installed a DSM receiver because the original controller or flight board didn't seem to respond properly. When I throttled, the elevator and ailerons would actually cut out and slow right down. So I definitely know it would have crashed. I would not have been in control if I used the normal flight board. We got some thunder. Well guys, as you can see, we got it all set up. I was gonna take it up to my other paddock, the football field, but I thought I'll just bring it here because the grass seems to be quite long at the moment, which will, will be good for crash landings. But I'm not sure whether I should remove the landing gear because the plane itself is gonna be a little bit lighter. But around here, there's not really anywhere to land other than this uh, really rocky sort of area. And I'm not sure how this is gonna go on the rocks. See if we can get a launch. If not, I'm going to have to hand launch it. I'll take the uh, landing gear off and give it another shot. Here we go. We'll see what happens. Oh, it flies kind of. That was really squirrely. I kind of expected that. This is a not a beginner plane. Definitely going to take a little bit of a little bit of work to fly it. So I might hand launch it. Definitely seems like it needs a bit of speed to fly. All right, here we go. Now guys, just a really handy tip for hand launching either really lightweight planes or extremely powerful planes. They have a lot of torque. Now it's all going to depend what prop you're using as in counterclockwise or clockwise, but it's a really good idea to slightly tilt your plane in whichever direction the prop is actually spinning. The torque roll will force the, the opposite wing down. This has a clockwise spinning prop. You want to hold or tilt the plane while hand launching slightly to the right. So when you take off and the torque roll kicks in, everything pulls to the left and levels out and you can take off, fly away, nice and smooth, nice and level. It's a squirrely little plane. Hey. 
Uh, there we go. I needed to trim it in a bit first. Still way off. That's all the way trimmed forward, so it's going to pull up heaps. Yeah, I need to change that, uh, that elevator. It's definitely pulling up way too much, and I can't go any further with the, uh, with the trim. Actually, I've got sub trim, I think. I might change that quickly. Yeah, I can't keep landing like that. I'm going to have to go to like 150%. Off. All right, well, I'll try that, see what happens. But it is starting to rain, so I'm going to have to be quick about this. That's better. That's trimmed in much better now. Oh, geez. It's a really squirrely little plane. That's the only problem because it's low wing, very short wingspan, very short fuselage, really chunky, you know, hasn't got a lot of lift. Fingers crossed we get a good flight in here. Definitely seems trimmed in a lot better now, but it's just so squirrely because it's so small. There we go. That's a bit better. Can we get a loop before this storm gets here? No, we can't. That was a weird loop. That's like right above us, guys. Awesome little plane, but I think we might have to land very soon because this, this weather's coming in a lot quicker than I expected. I might keep this in the, in the sky, just head on down the, that way and see what happens. I kind of would have expected to get about six minutes flight time out of the, the first flight. Once the um, battery got a little bit uh, worn in, a couple of charges, then it would have lasted a bit longer, but yeah, so far it's doing well. Whoa, there we go. A little bit squirrely, such a small plane. All right, coming for a fast pass. That was better. Yeah, that sky doesn't look nice, guys. I might have to land this and um, bring it back out another time. Shouldn't need much speed to land this thing either. Beautiful, excellent. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of this weather. It looks crazy up there. Uh, it's all around me, so yeah, looks a bit worrying. <laughs> I'll get undercover and um, I'll bring this back out as soon as possible, but it's definitely going good. It's a it's an awesome little plane. Once it was all trimmed in, it flies beautifully. It definitely needs a good trim in before you get it in the sky though, because it was all over the place, pulling up, pulling left, pulling right, you know. So definitely get it all trimmed in and uh, yeah, you should be right. Should fly beautifully. I am definitely looking forward to bringing it back out. All right guys, cheers. Catch you in the next video and stay safe.